You know, for those of us that don't know me, know that I ran a ballet company for 15 years. And I would deal with the public. And they know nothing about what we do as structural engineers. When I would tell them, we create computer models of bridges and buildings in the computer memory, we shake them with earthquakes, blow wind on them. And the software tells us which portions of the structure are gonna break and you, so that you can fix it before it's even built. I mean, they look at you. Man, are you some kind of a genius or what? But you see, that's what we do. They don't know that. This is the kind of education that we need out there. The beauty about structural engineering is that you make life better for all of humanity on a daily basis. That's what you do. You're in the business of actually saving lives. I mean, people become heroes by saving one life. You are saving lives every time the wind blows. But they don't know that out there. The Salesforce Tower, the biggest tower in the Western Hemisphere, performance-based design. The only reason that building would actually stand in San Francisco is because of its amazing engineering. There's a mention of some artist. There's a mention of, I think the architect is there. No structural engineer. That's the reason why people don't know. We have so many amazing stories to tell. People are blown away when they find out the things that you do. Learn public speaking, get out there and talk to them. Just one of these things, pick it up. Make friends, talk about your profession. There's so much they want to hear from you. Years ago, a student from Argentina came to attend one of my dynamic analysis courses in New York. She goes back, writes to me this amazing letter. I graduated four years ago, but today I went to work with a new sense of purpose and passion associated with what I do because of what I heard from you. She came for, to learn dynamics, but the biggest lesson she took away was this. What have we done as educators if we have taught us structural dynamics, structural mechanics, mechanics of materials, but we have totally failed to instill in her a sense of passion and pride associated and purpose associated with what she does. We have failed her. And that's what we need to know how amazing we are, to take credit for things that we do with pride. Talk about it. But listen to this one. What really pisses me off. I know you're probably thinking this guy's a real pissy guy, you know. <laughs> but truly it does because I love this profession. How many of you would like to make more money? How many would like to make 700% of what you make right now. Come on, tell me. Or tell me you don't want any money. Because I'm telling you, the word around town is that our profession is not about money. Our profession is about serving humanity. Let me tell you one thing. I can serve humanity much better with my structural license in one pocket and a billion dollars in the other. Money has a bad connotation associated with it because it's not used correctly. Money is not a bad word. Money is a bad word when it is hyphened with greed. You design a building and a real estate agent gets to sell it. The real estate agent gets 6% to sell the building. You get half a percent to design it. The real estate agent will sell the building probably a hundred times during the lifetime of a building. You will get paid once, be completely responsible for the lifetime of the building, and you will go to school for 20 years for that pleasure. Don't blame the real estate agents. They've got it figured out. More power to them. Yours is based on construction cost. Theirs is based on selling price. And many, many times as inflation comes along, they will sell it again. There is something seriously wrong with this picture. It needs to be addressed because smart people are figuring it out that this profession may be a gift to humanity, which it is. But if there's no money, they still have bills to pay.
and they're looking elsewhere. I talk to a lot of young engineers. They ask me, Ashraf, I'm sitting in an office building. My friend is working in the Salesforce tower. He's making 10 times more than I am. And my future doesn't really look that bright. What do you think I should do? Should I go to school and get an MBA? These are the questions that our leadership needs to answer. Meanwhile, our universities are starved for money. Students are buckled under the load of student loans. When they tell us that money is not important, we're about serving the public, it really bothers me. Associations like this, especially in our profession, should be completely flush with money. They should be able to sponsor every student that wants to come, bring them in for free, pay everything they need. Those are the future of our profession. They've got this incredible mission that they talk about, that the SEI has put together, Structural Engineering Institute has put together, about the amazing things that they want for the structural engineering profession. One of the things that's a key in there is they say they want to attract the smartest and the brightest into the profession. With no money? It's not a charity organization. People have bills to pay. You can be so charitable if you have money. There's only one thing that you can do when you have a lot of money, is to give it away. People have billions and billions of dollars and they sit on it while people are starving on the streets. Alexander the Great said it loud and clear. And we don't listen. Remember what he said? Well, what he said that when I die and you guys roll my coffin out onto the streets, make sure my hands are outside so that everybody knows I'm taking nothing with me. You guys convinced I'm crazy, right? This is the last time these guys are going to invite me. <laughs>